Hey folks, Dr. Groovy here, Scott Grove, GroovyMusicLessons.com. Um, just another configuration for you guys. Um, solving some things, maybe making some interest for you. Um, this here, as you read up above, is some more MIDI stuff. But for um, bass guitar and a actually logical way to do it. Um, I've got a lot of bass synths that I can MIDI into. Um, or you can do it via keyboards, but I've got a whole bunch of synthesizers that are made strictly uh, for bass and or drums, but dedicated bass ones over in my rack. And then another new one here that I'll just show you, but let me show you how to use a bass directly into a bass amp and then add a synthesizer so you have both parts going, any things you want. Or we go strictly over to the synth based stuff for all those 80s and 90 hits and uh, if you want to emulate the Seinfeld sounds or what have you, trumpets or whatever, anything that can come out of a synth. Okay, so let's just show you the entire path of making this work so uh, you can get that part out of your brain and I can solve that for you. That's what the biggest part of this is. And you might actually like um, the whole way the operation can work. I could see in a uh, really groovy, uh, like I said, um, dance band, it would be great. And you could get the keyboard player, doesn't have to be an octopus, or hire four more keyboard players just to play the synth bass, bass parts, you know. So uh, let me show you around what everything is, and then we'll play through it, okay? Okay, starting with 76 uh, Gibson G3 Grabber 3. Um, one of the coolest bases ever made. Um, love it, love it, love it. Yeah, back in Green Day, oh, yeah. Uh, the early Green Day days. Um, just a super, super axe. Um, can't get enough of them. If you got something you want to sell, um, let me know. I'll take it off your hands. Okay, so what it does is it runs straight out of here. And then we got to take it somewhere in start hooking all this stuff up. This was the fun part, but I'll take the guesswork out of you now. So it goes directly from the base, goes down to the, right here, this Sonus box, the B2M, I know it could be a BM2, eh? Okay, so it just comes, and where does it go in? It goes right here to that side, <laughs> uh, where it says base. So you plug your base in there, and then you flip the switch towards the arrow, so it's uh, actually chromatic and not this other weird sounding thing. This over here is nothing but, it, except for it holds the uh, little purse handle on the other side. Okay, on this side, the gold cable coming out just says through, okay, and then there's a the MIDI out. So the through cable, okay, comes base to the input, and this is a monophonic box. They still haven't figured out after all these years how to do a poly polyphonic thing um, out of something that's nice and easy. Um, yeah, you can do the rolling thing and drag around the 13-pin uh, cables and stuff. This here's nice and easy, and especially for the kind of stuff I'm showing you. Again, it's one way to do a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, in here, and yes, you can just do a 9-volt power supply and put a 9-volt... Um, battery adapter, take the battery out of it and just leave it plugged in all the time so it has a constant 9 volt going on. Okay, so out of the uh, through and it goes to the input of one volume pedal. Okay, that's going to be my bass guitar volume pedal. Coming out of the bass and I'm running it. Get this out of the way. So the bass amp is just going to be these two um, Ashdown um, cabs through the HA5500 uh, heart key. Everything else is just off. I've just got it going right in the input there. But here, um, this here is a great sounding bass unit. This old PV Spectrum Bass 2. The one up here. Uh, DPM, just the base one synth, nothing fancy, but this one down here just has a thousand flipping sounds in it, and it's amazing. So if you ever get a chance to get one of these, 
that's the puppy to buy. I mean, it's just way ahead of its time. It's still amazing. Um, and that's all I'm using, okay? So all the other synth crap and everything else here, I'm just using this bass app. So a head and two cabinets, and it's going in there. So bass through that volume pedal. Okay, here comes the interesting stuff. I have my synth on a volume pedal too. So I can play bass only, or I can bring the synth in and blend the two, or I can just go straight to the synth for the 80s and 90s pop bass stuff. Um, from all the weird, uh, what was it, Nina 99 Luft Balloons, you know, weird things like that, or um, <laughs> there's just some great old uh, bass patches. Okay, so I'm using this here. Any MIDI controller can work, but I like the good old MIDI Buddy. They've been around forever. Got more and more of them over here. Um, so that's what I use. It just tr works out so great. What I do here, and I'm, here's the, what I'm using, just the Planet Fat. P-H-A-T-T. -T. Uh, if I bring it up, um, you may or may not see stuff. But this was a 90s um, hip-hop unit. Bass sounds and drum sounds. That's what it was for. So it made sense to just buy it up for under a hundred bucks. You can do that all day, all day long on eBay. Um, okay, so the MIDI cable comes out of the Sonus unit. Okay, and we have to create a little loopy thing here. So it comes up the MIDI side, where it says MIDI out. Okay, then it's going to go into the back of... Da -da -da -da. Okay, the... Um, right here where it says share and all that kind of junk. So it goes in there, because you're going to share this uh, input jack on the back of this synthesizer in a second. So you got to piece these together. It's kind of a Y thing. So you go into the share, okay, then from the MIDI out, you go right into the back of the unit. And let me get you the actual thing. There's your MIDI places you can do, but just go to the MIDI in. Okay, so you've got this box going in to the left side on the Rolls MIDI Buddy. Great unit, really is for everything. A lot, of, a lot of us have been using it for 30 years. And then you come out the outside. MIDI out. MIDI in. Okay, so now, whatever that is sending a signal into here, which it doesn't need anything here. This is just controls what's here. But it's bypassing, going through here, and then just continues to go. So it's not affecting anything here. The sounds, nothing. And then it just bypasses everything straight into there. That just allows it to pick up this along the way. That changes the patches. So you have to... Patches? I don't need no stinking patches. So, <laughs> so that's it. You just go through banks of 10, pick out, you know... I've got it on bank 2, patch 8. So, patch number 28. And so forth and so on. Just write down your favorites so you get used to them. Or you can alter them all. Okay, so it comes out of that which is the mono output on the back of the Planet Fat or any uh, bass module or synth. Plug it right into a synthesizer, same thing. Makes no difference what you're using. So you just go to the MIDI in on the back of any keyboard and then go out of the output. And if you go out of the um, output on there, it's going to just come straight around and go to the input of your next volume pedal. Then you go out of the volume pedal into your PA system or a different rig, um, a keyboard rig or another bass thing. Just don't put them both to the same amp just because um, it just doesn't sound great. And your, your EQ out front is going to need to be different and whoever's going to sound is really going to want to make the uh, synthesizer sound different than the bass guitar. So just split them up into two different... Um, DI's, you know, two different direct boxes. Easy to do. You got quarter inch, so you just take it off the output here, run it to the input of a direct box, and out of the direct box. Same thing here. Come out of your volume pedal, out of it, go into the quarter inch, send the other end of the quarter inch, and out of your direct box and into the bass amp. You're like, what's a direct box? Some of you 
Um, this would be one. So, out of either base or pedal down there, um, it would come out of the volume pedal. And, da -da -da -da. so there's outputs over here, or an output. So, you got two guitar chord places here. You would go uh, in, it's supposed to say, in a second. Okay, so you go in right there with your quarter inch jack from out of your volume pedal, then just out into your amp, or in out of your synthesizer volume pedal. You know, after it comes out of that volume pedal, it goes in here, then another quarter inch jack out to whatever your amplifier is for that. And then out of each one, you just do a microphone cord to your mixing board. And if anything has a buzz or a loop, you know, any kind of noisy loop thing, just flick the ground switch and shut off the buzz. Everybody should have one of these for everything, your acoustic guitars and your acoustic electrics, every keyboard, every everything. So, nice little direct boxes that you can get for 25, 30 bucks. Um, Saves the world. Okay, so I'm just going to hook this up and let you hear just a couple patches, but that's how you do it. Just run it back if you need to find out. Um, it makes a lot of sense. You can always write me if you really need instructions. Um, all the MIDI stuff used to be huge. It still is, I guess, in uh, recording. And then depending on how demanding your uh, synth needs are and so forth, and drum machines and what have you. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the grab the grabber, the Gibson bass. Again, if anybody has a G3, let me know. Just to remind you, um, good old Bill Lawrence designed these pickups. And they are guitar pickups, not bass guitar pickups. These came in the Gibson S1 about the right time. And again, um, something... Bill Lawrence is famous for, and he's the only person, one of the few people that ever do it, especially for bass players. One, two, then a third screw. So you can actually adjust which way it tilts. It makes all the difference in the world. So hardly any guitars in the world have that, where you can actually tilt it towards, you know, because you have a humbucker and a guitar, and you're not picking up one half of it because it's all tilted, and some people are like, well, I'll put some foam under there. You shouldn't have to take a great guy like Bill Lawrence just to say, hey, let's make it so it can tilt so it becomes parallel with the strings or not. Maybe you want one side that's hotter than the other so that the bass side will be hotter than the treble side of the pickup because it does make a huge difference when you're tilting them. Okay, so I'm going to see them cranked wide open here, all three pickups on at once in the middle position and I'm just getting my hair out of my own strap. So here is the bass guitar sound, just right here. Uh, get rid of Santa's on. Uh, I am using a pick just for the heck of it. Okay, so the bass amp is behind here. It's going, everything's just going from the camera mic. Yes, you'll want to put on a good set of headphones to hear anything in depth. And then you're only going to get the camera mic because most people I've talked to, um, that's the way they want to hear it. They don't want to hear it uh, directly into the um, recording software and all that. They just want to go back to the good old Scotty sound. So um, just do whatever you want to do. Okay, so there's the bass. You would just... Here's the synth, okay? Let's see, did I like 25? What I like on here, I can't remember. Um, good stuff. Um, let's see, maybe it was 29. <laughs> Either way, don't matter. Um, so here's the bass tone, and then I'm going to go over to the other one. So I can just stand right here and bring in what I want, or take out what I want. Okay? So, I could be playing...
straight, strictly um, sent there. <laughs> I'm going to go down to the Seinfeld patch, uh, number 15, okay, and I'll bring it in and I'll bring it out. So that's cool. <laughs> so there's that. I'll do just one more, just for fun. Um, I like this one. Everybody needs this patch, just because it's awesomeness by itself, which is one of these. Lots of LFO sweeps, low frequency oscillators. That's cool by itself. Imagine all the lights dark and everything, and all the fog rolling out and everything, and just some green lights or something like, you know, something ominous. Just. <laughs> okay, we just. to get some clarity so <laughs> Basically, it you know, of course, we could go through three million flipping bass sounds, um, a lot of fretless stuff on there, D fretters and kazoos. And <laughs> um, god, there's even a uh, great let's just go all the way down here at the beginning and we can get into let's see. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> How's that for beautiful? All the stuff you really want on your bass. Let's see one another. Ah, just for fun. Rap stuff. Vinyl. Do that at the beginning of an old song. And then just come right in. Get the vinyl. And then we could ease our bass part in. Anyway, just kind of wanted to show you how to make it happen, and of course I would go wireless, so get rid of all the out of spaghetti dinner. But um, again, anybody who might, might want to venture into that, and then you could play all the bass parts again. Uh, that PV unit, the bass two, um, is a monster. It really is. And I did, like I said, I got the MoFat thing down here to do some hip hop stuff here, and. Um, I've demoed the other models, so I thought I would just bring out this and just kind of show you how to hook up this kind of thing with that little uh, uh, Sonus pedal, or not pedal, but MIDI converter. Again, they are monophonic, so if you want um, major uh, polyphonic stuff, then you'd have to go with a Roland pickup, installing your guitar, only go through Roland units, you couldn't MIDI into anything you wanted, just have to go into Roland stuff only, and then you couldn't use this foot switching system, it's just, you know, things have their drawbacks or whatever, so you either use all Roland stuff and use one of their controllers and whatever, or you can use this stuff and use all the, uh, um, stuff from back when and get the authentic sounds. You've got the Oberheim, um, was it the OB-8? OB-3? OB-8, I can't remember. From the uh, Jump Eddie Van Halen used to play. I think it was an OB-8. Hell, who knows. Anyway, Scott Grove, Dr. Groovy. Um, hope you at least enjoyed it and uh, found the, um, you know how I am with volume pedals. Found the deal with the volume pedals being kind of cool so you can put the synth right in the mix where you want it. Sound man will take care of it from there. But, and then you can go straight to the synth stuff or bring your bass back in. Do them both. Do one or the other. Uh, just whatever your little mind comes up with. So, anyway, uh, you guys be groovy and I am once again out of here. Bye-bye.